Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Uni University of uh, Gloucestershire in our uh, uh, Cyber Symposium 2021, uh, organized by the University and C11. Uh, we've been working in this symposium for months now, and uh, hopefully the next one is going to be in C11. We can see you face to face. So. I hope you can enjoy our symposium today. Uh, we will have five sessions. Uh, uh, we're going to start to welcome you. This is Ali Al Sherbaz. I am Associate Professor at the University of Gloucestershire and the Academic Subject Leader. Uh, you will see me many times today uh, introducing people, but let me start with the introduce the uh, the symposium. So we will have today five uh, sessions. The, one, the first one is going to be welcome messages from the vice chancellor and my colleagues from C11, and we will have a keynote speaker. The second one is going to be about the uh, industry insight. We will have also uh, another three brilliant speakers. And then after that, we will have the session two about research and innovation. Uh, session three is about teaching and learning, and the final session is going to be discussion panel and experts EQ and A, uh, and then we will have a, a recommendation and closing. Hopefully, we can finish by 4 p.m. So the first uh, message and welcome message from uh, our vice chancellor uh, 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 of, of the University of Gloucestershire, Stephen Marston. He's uh, preparing for us a welcome message. Kindly, he's supporting us in running this symposium and other activities uh, to promote uh, and to act as a leader in the county, in the cyber. And hopefully we can work together with you, with colleagues, with organization, companies in the UK, outside of the UK to, uh, uh, to promote and to work together to have uh, really uh, an innovative approaches to, uh, uh, to have a cyber skills, uh, uh, reduce the cyber skills gap uh, for our students and for uh, uh, the, the people who are looking forward to work in this industry. I would like to invite now uh, the Vice Chancellor to give his message. Uh, to open, to officially open the symposium. Stephen, you are live now. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much indeed, Ali. And good morning, everybody. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all to this C11 Cyber Symposium. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not fully on brand because uh, I'm not using the Cyber Symposium background, but it can never be a bad thing, at least in my view, to have a picture of the University's Park campus in Cheltenham uh, on a sunny day. So that's what you can see behind me, at least I hope you can. Um, the purpose of today's event is to review and discuss the latest developments, research and solutions in cybersecurity and protection. We're delighted to welcome colleagues from a wide range of organisations. We have businesses, agencies, universities, as well as some of the university's own staff and students. Uh, in total, we expect to have more than 200 delegates um, attending today. You certainly don't need me to tell you how vital cybersecurity and protection has now become. As technology becomes ever more pervasive, the disruption, the cost and the risk we face when it fails becomes ever more serious. And when the breakdown or corruption of the technology is caused deliberately in big and interconnected systems, the consequences can, of course, be massive, potentially affecting all of us and whole critical national infrastructures. Here in the UK, more specifically here in Gloucestershire and the South West, we have an amazing cluster of assets and expertise which can make us part of the solution. Over recent years, this part of the country has been building up a formidable strength in cybersecurity and protection centred, of course, on some key public agencies and some leading corporations backed by major research strengths in our universities. We've seen a burgeoning of new and expanding companies, 
most obviously represented in the impressive Sinem network based in Cheltenham. Which is a major reason why my university has also invested heavily in computing, cyber and digital. Because it's part of our mission as a university to support economic growth, innovation and community well-being in our area. So as cyber has become increasingly important as an economic sector for the county and the region, we have invested to support that because with great threat from the prevalence of cyber risk, comes, of course, great opportunity for invention, for innovation, to develop new products and services, to protect against those risks, creating new companies and new jobs, which all help to drive prosperity for our area. That's why the university invested in creating C11 at Berkeley, as well as in our own park campus in Cheltenham, offering state-of-the-art secure facilities for cyber training, business support, and applied research and development. It's also why we were so pleased to support the successful bid by the consortium involving Sinam, Plexel, Deloitte and others to work with NCSC on the next cyber startup programme. We're really looking forward to working closely with them to help the creation and growth of the next generation of cyber innovators and entrepreneurs. We've also been actively supporting the Golden Valley development in Cheltenham which will be the home for Cyber Central, working with the other universities in the region. I'm delighted to see that representatives from the Golden Valley team will be speaking at this event. That too will be an amazing boost for the cyber sector and for its economic impact locally and nationally, consolidating Gloucestershire's position as a focal point for cyber expertise, innovation and excellence. And it's no accident that there is also a strong cyber and digital theme in some of the major regeneration projects in train going on now in Gloucester. These will further reinforce the region's cyber assets. There's a massive opportunity and benefit for all of us in working together to support innovation and enterprise in this field. And that's one of the purposes of today's symposium. In the university, as well as investing in our physical infrastructure and specialist facilities, we've been investing in our people particularly to extend the contribution we can make to research and innovation in cyber and digital. We were very pleased in March that for the first time we were able to put in a submission to REF UOA 12. Sorry about that bit of jargon. Uh, what it means is that the university has now built up a sufficient range and quality of research in computing and engineering that we have been able to join the huge national exercise that peer reviews the quality of all research undertaken in universities across the UK. So it was a proud moment for us in demonstrating the breadth and impact of the research that we do in addition to our teaching, which makes us much better placed to support businesses, agencies and others in both basic and applied research that generates new insights, new IP, and therefore the potential for new products and services in this field. In today's discussions, we're also putting a particular focus on skills. With the massive growth of technology permeating every aspect of our world, comes massive demand for people with the skills to keep us safe, secure, and able to function in our personal and our working lives. As a university, we take very seriously our responsibility to help businesses and employers meet their needs for skilled, capable, qualified people. This year, we have 678 students enrolled on our computing and engineering courses at undergraduate, masters and PhD level. Some of our wonderful students are joining us today in this symposium. This year, we've seen applications to the school rise by a further 6%. So demand is strong from applicants. We are one of the first universities to offer the cybersecurity technical professional degree apprenticeship and we now offer four degree apprenticeships, including cybersecurity, DTSP and data scientist. So we are by a long way. The largest provider of cyber and computing degree programs in the locality. As a member of the Institute of Coding Consortium, we have worked with partners to provide shorter learning opportunities in cyber as well. But we estimate some 800,000 learners and we hope to contribute 
to the government's digital skills bootcamp program. So the good news is that the pipeline of students coming through with good skills and qualifications is growing. We're rapidly building up the range of training and skills opportunities we can offer with our partners. Even so, it is quite probably not growing fast enough to meet the needs of all the existing, the growing and the new employers in the area. There are clearly skills gaps and shortages, so we hope today to work with partners to get a better understanding of where the major skills pressure points are and what we can do to, to help resolve them, including any opportunities that businesses and agencies are willing to offer us to help us to help you by offering projects, work experience and placements to help our students today become your top recruits of tomorrow. So that's enough from me about the background to today's event and what we hope it will achieve. Thank you all again for participating and I'll now hand back to Ali. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Stephen, for the welcome message. Uh, we really appreciate that and uh, it's uh, indeed the, the shortage uh, it's uh, it's clear in the cyber security and your uh, support on the university strategy are always clear about this uh, thank you very much uh, our next welcome message from my colleague uh, uh, Riel she's uh, le leading the C11 innovation center this is part of the university and we would like to uh, hear from her about the uh, services which are provided by the C11. So, Riel, please, uh, the mic is yours. Thank you. Well, good morning. And indeed, let me add my welcome to all of you for our first University of Gloucestershire and C11 Cyber Symposium. Yes, uh, my name is Rael Pentland-Smith. I'm the Business Development Director of C11 uh, Cybersecurity and Digital Innovation Centre. And as a sponsor of this event, we had promised a day of not only information and updates, but also of solutions, suggestions and ideas for us all to engage in around managing and decreasing this cyber skills gap that we have in our industry. I remain confident given the inspiring list of speakers, um, students and discussion that you won't be disappointed. So we'd encourage you all to please get involved. Uh, use hashtag Cyber Symposium 21 or add your thoughts and comments and questions into the Q&A on your desktop. So as many of you may be aware, um, C11 Cyber Cybersecurity and Digital Innovation Center is a fully functioning conferencing, learning and networking center specifically designed to meet the needs of the cyber and digital community. We have 16,000 square feet encompassing PC labs, secure conferencing and meeting rooms, office rentals, office rental space, incubation and hot desking space located at the Gloucestershire Science and Technology Park at Barclay Green. Our rapidly growing technical community is already providing a breeding ground for collaborations across industries, government and education, and we're excited to be at the heart of it. We are here to provide a link for business directly into the academic and education community, as well as a facility to encourage collaboration, education and growth. Now, that's as much of an advert as you're going to hear from me today. But if you'd like to hear more about C11, if you'd like to get involved or or better yet, arrange a visit, please get in touch. For now, I'm going to turn back to Ali to get stuck into our issues of the day. And thank you for joining us once again. Ali, over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Riel. Uh, uh, really uh, appreciate the work you do in the C11. And uh, uh, the, the C11 is the university arm to work with the industry and uh, uh, hopefully next year the symposium will be uh, in C11 at Cyber Park, uh, Science Park in Berkeley.